Hi everybody, welcome to the channel. Today I'm going to be showing you how to replace your battery in a C7 Corvette. Hi, I'm Jennifer and you're watching the Corvette channel. Hi everybody, welcome to the channel. My name is Scott and today I'm going to be showing you how to replace the battery in a C7 Corvette. My car is a 2014 and it has the original uh, OEM battery in it and now it being 2019 uh, we're coming up on five years so I've gotten way more service than it was originally designed to do uh, these batteries usually have a life of a little over three years and so I feel pretty fortunate that I got it but um, the last few last couple weeks it's been starting a little bit harder and yesterday it really got to the point where I had to uh, give it a, a little bit of a jump to get it to start and so it's not worth taking the chance that it's going to leave me stranded so I'm going to go ahead and show you how to remove the battery and, uh, and how you can get it out and how you can go ahead and put it back in. The first thing you're going to need to do um, is hopefully you still got some power um, is to pop your trunk. Now if you um, if your battery is completely dead you can use the key in the key fob and there is a lock underneath over here underneath of the above the license plate. And you can use that that will pop the trunk that will allow you to get into the trunk. So at that point uh, you'll come into the into the trunk area here and you'll lift your carpet back over here. Okay, so you're going to lift this carpet back like so. Get over here so you can get to this carpet. Pull this, pull this out just a little bit so you can get this up and out of the way. That will uh, reveal the, the styrofoam cover that goes over the battery. We'll pull that out of the way. And then we have our battery right here. And I think you can see that here. And so all we've got to do is we've just got to be able to pull the negative cable loose and then also the positive side here and then this will lift up and off. We'll undo the strap here that holds the battery in place and we'll be able to lift it up and out of the car and then we can go take it down to down to the dealer or wherever you decide you want to go to get a battery and exchange it and you'll have your core uh, to be able to turn back in. We have a 10 millimeter bolt here or nut we should say that we're going to take off and this will um, disconnect the, the battery itself. Now you want to make sure that you roll down your window um, on your car if you can if you still have power um, so you'll be able to get back into the car I mean be able to release the latch or be able to uh, leave your door ajar um, because once you pull this loose, you're going to lose all power and you want to make sure that when you go to the stories, leave it open. Don't, uh, as long as you're in a garage or something, don't leave the car unsecured. But um, this way you can get back in without any fight. So once I pull this loose, then the, the, the car will de-energize. Okay. So we're just going to take that little guy off like so. All right, and then this hold down bracket is also a 10 millimeter. And we probably what we want to do here is we're going to want to move this cable kind of out of the way, okay, just to make sure it's not going to uh, come back and touch the battery. We've got the uh, negative cable loose. Now comes the fun part. Now. Typically, we've always just taken the negative cable off, and the power cable off, or the positive cable off, and we're good to go. On these cars, they're a little more sophisticated than that, and it's not very well documented on the internet. So I uh, wanted to show you what you want to do and how, in the order to do it, that this lid just comes up. You can see the, um, you know, the cable connection here. You're just going to be able to pop this cover off like so. Get that out of the way. And then you're going to have um, you're going to have a couple different bolts you're going to have to remove, and so we've got 13 millimeter. We've got two of those, or th actually three of those that we're going to remove here. Let's see if I can get it to spin, just like that.
and get that bolt out of the way. Another one. Like that. Then you've got your the main cable here that you're gonna pull loose. Now this nut here actually stays on the cable, so you're just, just loosening it up. Just like that. And this should just come off. Okay, just like that. You can see the nut just stayed on there. Okay, and you move that out of the way. Then you can move over to your 10 millimeter. And we can remove the, actually remove the lug off of the battery cable, or battery itself. So this little guy will come out of the way, this, this L bracket. I'm gonna take this little guy off the battery. And then what that leaves us with is the hold down brackets here. Okay, so we're gonna undo the hold downs. One over here. the extension to help us get it up and out of the way. Get that out of the way. We're done with the sockets. We can pull the bracket, the hold down bracket out. And we can, now at this point, there's a little trick to this. This just doesn't come off. It's actually clipped onto the top edge of the battery. So you can put your screwdriver in here like so. Just pry it open just a little bit and this will pop off. So I looked around, was trying to see how to go about doing this and nobody had that information available. So I'm just gonna move this up and over and out of the way. So now we've got a clear, a clear shot here. So now at this point, the fun part is, is to Make sure that you get everything out of the way so you can try to reach in there and get it. Now, I'm gonna try to reach here and get underneath it. Normally I would probably be at the back of the car, but since the camera is like right there, I'm gonna see if I can do this where you guys can see. And there we go, we got it out. Take it, set it on the ground, and get it out of the car. Now we're ready to put a, put a new one back in. So we've got the battery out and I jumped in the car and went over to the Chevy dealership which I was surprised actually had the battery in stock and it's an exact fit as well as the fact that it was cheaper than Sears, AutoZone, all those guys. So they, they beat everybody by 10 bucks. And it has a higher cold cranking amp uh, uh, capacity on it than the original battery. So, so I'm just gonna go ahead and, and uh, see if I can get this thing set in place. So, See if I can get it in here without smashing my fingers here. There we go. So she's in place now. Now there's two little little caps. There's a little white cap right here that was on my battery um, that the new one, it had the hole but it didn't have the cap. So you wanna make sure that you get that little, if you are replacing factory to factory, that you get the little white cap out of your battery to put back in the, the replacement. As well as right here, there's a vent and that they just slide out, but those don't come with the new battery. So you wanna make sure you put take them out of your old one to put into here. As well as these, these, these have the little covers that you can 
you need to take off. It's like so. Let's see if I can get this one off. This one's kind of a pull tab. So get those out of the way. And then at that point, all we're doing is we're just reversing everything we did earlier to put it on. So we're just gonna take this little guy like that and we're just gonna snap it in place. And you wanna move this little clip right here to get it out of the way so you can actually snap, snap this cover in place. It's like so. All right, then you can start to put this all back together. Now again, as long as you don't have your negative cable attached, you can hook this all up however you want. Again, this is a 13 millimeter. Let's see if I can find my 13 millimeter here. I almost forgot what we want to do here to make it a little bit easier is let's get that out of the way and let's put our, our bracket handle in place. Lockdown bracket, I should say. Makes it just that much easier to get it in there. And these little guys are 10 millimeter. Since I haven't replaced this battery with, uh, I did it all OEM to OEM. I won't. I don't know the specifics on what would be involved in having to change it out to an Optima or a Die Hard or something like that. Um, I would assume it'd be very close, but as far as the way this latches on. But since I went factory to factory, um, you know, it's it's an exact fit. You may have to modify that a little bit. Not sure. On something like this, you're gonna to wanna to snug it down snug it down pretty good, but you're not gonna to wanna to reef it so tight that you end up breaking the lug. Okay. Like that. And then we're going to go ahead and we're gonna put the battery lug on here. Like so. And then we're gonna tighten this down. And this is a, again, this is a 10 millimeter here. And it's gonna kinda of get that a little bit snug so we can move it around still. And then we're gonna take our, our little L bracket here. And we wanna make sure 
that this is perfectly in line like this. This way the plastic cap will actually fit on it. You don't want to have it uh, cockeyed in any way. We're going to take our other two 13 millimeter nuts. Put that on there like so. Snug these down. Okay, same thing over here. Okay, those are all tight. We're gonna tighten this post right here. Just like that. Then we should be able to put our cover back on. Just like so. And then at that point, we should be able to take our battery cable, bring it back around, put that on there, and snug this up. And you can see the light just came on, so the car is waking back up. Snug that down. Okay. And then at that point, we're ready to go ahead and uh, try to start the car. So um, in order to get to that point, you're going to want to take the key fob itself, and you're going to want to go to an unlock position, which then disables the, um, the alarm system, so that way it will start. So I'm going to go ahead and try to start it here. so we're good. So hopefully you found this video helpful and informative and when it comes time for you to change your battery in your C7 you'll have no problem doing it. For those of you that have got 2014's, 2015's, even some 2016's that are you know coming up now that it could very well be that your battery is starting to have issues. Um, those of you with 18's and 19's it won't be too long past that also because these batteries typically only last about three years. I was lucky enough to have the original in there. The car's five years old. So some of you will get a little bit better mileage out of the battery, but um, this way you'll know how to do it. I, I found it very strange that when I was looking on the internet on how to do this, everyone covered how to get to the battery. They all covered how the, the taking the negative cable off, but when it came time to show you how to get the positive cable off. They didn't even show the a C7 battery. They showed you pulling a single cable off of a single post on the battery. It was like in the old days. Um, so I wanted to make sure that you guys saw this and that you knew how it was done. So one, you don't break anything. And that number two, you don't, you're not victim of having to pay to have somebody else do it if you don't want to. So again, if you found this thing helpful, this video helpful, then do me a favor, hit that subscribe button, hit that like button, and hit that bell so you'll be notified of our next uploads. You guys, thanks for watching and have a great night. Thank you for watching the Corvette channel. Don't forget to hit like on the video and make sure you subscribe.